The governor's office says it will appeal a ruling by a South Carolina judge that the firing squad and electric chair are unconstitutional methods of capital punishment. The ruling came last week from a Richland County judge. Our Taggart Hauk is following the story. He joins us in the studio with what could be next. Tag. So good evening. The appeal would go to the state Supreme Court. This all came after lawmakers voted last year to add firing squad to methods of execution because the state can't get any more lethal injection drugs. The death penalty in South Carolina is effectively on hold after Judge Jocelyn Newman ruled firing squad and electrocution unconstitutional methods last week. In part, quote, the General Assembly ignored advances in scientific research and evolving standards of humanity and decency. Justice 360, the group that filed the lawsuit on behalf of four death row inmates, said it was very pleased with the result. The governor's office tells WIFF4 it will appeal the ruling. Greenville Senator Carl Allen sits on the Senate committee overseeing the Department of Corrections. Uh, lethal injection being a more humane way of implementing uh, the death penalty uh, is something that we should put a uh, high priority on and not take the easiest way out to say that a bullet doesn't cost much. But the Department of Corrections has said companies won't sell lethal injection drugs to the state because it doesn't have a shield law, which would offer privacy to those companies, something Horry County Senator Greg Hembry told us earlier this year. Many of the companies that produce those substances a few years, about 10 years ago, sort of unilaterally said, look, you know, without a shield law, we're not going to sell these things to you. Other states that have shield laws still use the drugs, including Arizona, which used lethal injection for an execution back in June. And Senator Hembree said today that he is working on introducing a shield law for the upcoming legislative session, but the next step here would be an appeal from Governor McMaster. Again, it is not clear when that could happen. Gabby.